YouTube friends, it's time for another episode. Hi everybody and welcome to a fun Friday Floss Tube weekly update with me. I am Annie, Joyfield Stitcher, both here on YouTube and over on Instagram. Thank you so much for joining me for another Friday weekly update. This is Floss Tube number 83 and it is Friday, December the 18th, 2020. So welcome back to another one of my videos. Some of you have been watching and commenting lovely things on all of my uh, Flossmas videos. So there will not be a Flossmas edition of its own, but it will be featured in here. I will open my advent boxes along with showing you my stitching from this week, talking a tiny bit about plans, and showing you my very, very heavy stash basket. So, like I said, my name is Annie. I am Joyfield Stitcher, and this is my channel and video about cross stitch and other crafty endeavors. So, I hope that you have had a wonderful week um, since we since we chatted in a full length video. I hope that you've gotten some stitches in on your projects, some knitting done. In fact, I just realized I didn't bring my knitting whips in here, so you'll see those next week. Um, I've put a bit of progress into my Let the Yarn Do the Work um, shawl, and it's possible it could be a finish in the near and dear future. However, I just did a knit front back increase on every stitch and went from like 160 ish to like 320 ish and then I'm I had to purl a whole row knit a whole row and then I'm gonna do a knit front back again so we're gonna have a massive quantity of stitches so we'll see I don't know that it'll be I think it might it potentially could be a finished knitting whip by the end of the year we'll see you never know what's gonna happen so if you are returning thank you so much for joining me yet again for another floss tube weekly update and for those of you that have been watching my flossmas uh, daily videos thank you again for hanging in there through some of the awkward and goofy ish moments thank you also to those of you who are new who might be joining me for the very first time what a blessing you all are to me um truly i mean that um I love reading your comments. I love seeing what your thoughts are on some of my projects. I love um, helping you answer questions if you have any questions. Um, and yeah, so I just realized also, see I'm flying by the seat of my pants and that never really goes very well. But I realized I have forgotten my list of people who bought me a fancy floss. So I wanna make sure that I talk about each and every person that bought me one. So I want to thank the following people, and I want to make sure I say them all. So one, one moment, please. Talk amongst yourselves. I, I would love to not pause this. I will say I am earlier in the day today. It's actually 3.20. We um, had an early dismissal today um, for the Christmas break. We are on Christmas break. Yay! And, um... Okay, now we're in a good spot. And so we got out. Our kids left at 1130. Now we had to do um, dismissal line still. And since we are on a different, uh, since we're obviously still in COVID times, um, classroom Christmas parties were done solely in the classroom by the teacher. Like in the past, typically carpool line would be a whopping four cars because so many parents would come and partake in the party. We just could not guarantee that it was going to be healthy and safe for all of them to come on campus. So, um, I think we got back inside a little bit before noon. Um, my mom came and picked up Joyfield little one, um, and took her back to her shop and they worked on some stuff. Um, while we, we had a meeting with our head of school, the, the president of our school, head of school, at one o'clock. It's our traditional like Christmas send off and they usually give us some kind of really nice gift. And this year it was like a Sherpa blanket with the school's um, logo on it. And then we usually get some kind of bonus of some sort. And so we, we got that and then he said, all right, folks, bye. Have a happy and safe Christmas and we'll see you on January 4th. 
And so I was out of there by like 120. And so then I went by and picked up uh, Joyful Little One. We went by right up the street from my mom's shop is a is our local quilt shop. And I had been looking. I had found this super cute. Oh, I know where I saw it. Uh, Julie, Kansas City girl in a Colorado world. Was, um, I'm way behind on videos, but I was watching her Thanksgiving kind of vlog. And she showed this magic star quilt. And it uses a layer cake. Well, I've been looking at layer cakes on Fat Quarter Shop and some other things. I'd love to make a new quilt um, over the break. And it's super simple. It uses one layer cake, and then you would need your binding, and then you would need backing fabric. But that's it. Um, you don't need extra fabric for borders or sashing or any, unless you want to, but you don't absolutely don't have to. And so I wanted to see what they had there. Um, I would love to buy from Fat Quarter Shop, but I kind of wanted instant gratification. And so I ended up finding one by Riley Blake. Um, I'll show it maybe in next week's video. I left it in the other room. And then Joyfield Little One has been wanting to do a quilt of her own. And they had a super cute little charm pack, which is the little small five inch squares that um, is called Animal Crackers. And it's by Moda and it's got cute little animals. So we may work on that. We'll see. I have promised her that I will teach her to knit, but that will be after Christmas because I still have not a single gift wrapped in my house. Well, okay. I have some gifts under my tree, but they're the things that have, that have arrived for me and I've slapped a bow on them and put them under the tree. Um, yes, I do. When I get like, if, so for instance, one of the things I got today was treehouse knits, which I talk about them tons because I absolutely adore all of her yarn. She did what she called a Christmas morning set and you could get a three color fade and you could get it I think in either a fingering or a DK weight. Well I ended up getting DK weight. Well when she packed it she wrapped it in tissue and then in a cellophane bag and so I took one of the magic bows where you just pull it and it goes and it makes this beautiful little puffy bow. Tied it on, stuck it under the tree. Now I got something open. Like that's fun for me. All right so that's enough rambling about that. Let me give you your hug of the week. For those of you that are new, I started during um, kind of stay at home orders, giving a hug on every video, a virtual hug. And so many people have commented that they love it in the weeks that I have forgotten. I've been called out on it, rightly so. Please continue to call me out if I forget. And so I love to give you a hug, especially those of you who don't get one, just consider this a true hug from me to you. So let's have our hug. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a two-part hug mm -hmm. and then give yourself a good hug. Now we're going to move on. So I want to thank the following folks for buying me a fancy floss. There is a link in my description box. Um, it's a buy me a coffee link, but I don't drink coffee. So it's, I've changed it to pardon me, buy me a fancy floss. And I know now also that my girl, Carla, Rolodex Stitches, she also has buy me a fancy floss and I've bought her some fancy floss. So if you are a friend of hers, go check her out her videos and buy her some fancy floss. So this, since last video, the following folks have bought me at least one fancy floss. Rhonda H, Tanya D, Catherine M, Bonnie G, um, this one just says someone, but they bought me 10 fancy flosses. And this one just says someone. And they also bought me 10 fancy flosses. Wow. That's incredible. Thank you so much to each and every one of you that have bought me a fancy floss since last week's video. Because of you, I get to purchase, sometimes I purchase um, postage to send out um, giveaways and things like that. Sometimes I do use it to buy floss and sometimes or most of the time it's generous enough that it keeps these videos ad free. For those of you who do not have some kind of subscription to YouTube and you do sit through ads, my video should not have any ads. Please let me know if it does because in the terms of service update it did say that they now have the right to put ads in. I don't agree with that and so I would love to know if that does in fact happen. So, and I would, I know that some of you want to be anonymous when giving um, fancy flosses and that's totally your prerogative, but I would love if you're comfortable to be able to share that you're supporting me in that way. So if you're at all interested in showing a little support, please uh, don't feel inclined 
Um, but there is a link in the description box below. So I got some Christmas cards this week and I loved, I was watching, um, Pam and Steph just keep stitching and they shared that they will share any Christmas card they get from here on out. Um, because it really does take time and energy. I sent out quite a number of cards this year. Um, some of you may have received one. Um, and it took time, but it was so worth it. And I sent each one of them with love. So I got this beautiful card from Shelly. Shelly has um, won some of my giveaways. She's also purchased things from my D stash. And I love this. It looks a little farmhouse. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. So thank you so much, Shelly, for that. Speaking of Pam and Steph, I got their Christmas card. And I feel so special to be chosen to get their card and it's so pretty. I love it. And I use Vistaprint too. Um, they use Vistaprint. And then I got this one from Cynthia and she got, um, I think she won the small pouch. And so she sent me this one, Joy to the World. I love that it's a wreath made of shells. How fun is that? Just a different take on the holidays. And so really sweet note inside. And, um, so yes, thank you so much. I love getting the cards and I appreciate each of you that took time out of your day to share those with me. So what else has been going on? I know I've updated you a little bit throughout the week as to how this week at school and stuff has gone. We are officially out of school until January 4th. I think the only things we have planned is tomorrow we are going with my dad and mom driving around to look at Christmas lights. We're not planning to get out of the car or it's not any like fully coordinated. We just have some neighborhoods in our area that do beautiful lights. And so we're going to do that. And then um, I do not think we're going to go to Christmas Eve service. However, we have the opportunity to live stream it. And so we will probably live stream it. We typically would also go out to dinner for Christmas Eve. I don't think we're going to do that. I think my parents said we might come to their house and have tamales and chili. Um, which is kind of a throwback tradition to so before we would go out to eat. Um, we are still not eating in restaurants. And then Christmas Day, as usual, is um, we start out here at our house with Joyfield Little One, and we do stockings and what Santa brought. Then we'll typically go over to my parents, and my brother and his wife will be there, and we'll do gifts with them. Then we'll come home and finish up um, our gifts to each other here in our little small family. And we feel safe getting together with them because they're in our bubble. Um, so if you have any plans coming up this weekend or next week, just be safe. I will be here Friday night, next Friday night. Um, and you may not end up watching it on Friday. I totally get that. Um, but it's not going anywhere. So it'll be there to watch when you have time. But I will say it's going to be my Christmas floss tube extravaganza. And I'm calling it Christmas because that's what I celebrate. It will not be exclusionary to those who don't celebrate Christmas, but I will be doing a ton of giveaways, small and large. Um, I've been kind of culling some items. Um, I haven't done giveaways for the last couple of weeks because I have some really cool stuff that I want to share with y'all in thanks for this year. So we need to get moving with this because I've chatted for 13 minutes and it's going to be a long one if I don't get moving. So I think we're going to start with the Advents. So let me pull them over. Ooh, I almost fell. As you may notice, if you've been watching my daily floss tubes, I am back on my tripod. So you're not at a weird angle. Um, I am back in my normal spot. I feel more at ease. So my treehouse knits, you'll hear me talk about Lauren and her yarns like a lot because I like a lot of them. Um, she is an independent yarn dyer out of Austin, Texas, which is not far from me. Um, she, hers is treehouse underscore knits. And the reason why I say treehouse underscore knits on Instagram is there's another shop called treehouse knits. And that is Rachel, and Rachel has a floss tube that she does with, oh, I cannot remember her name. Anywho, Legacy Fiber Arts, they do one called Lost in Floss, and I've been really enjoying their videos. They're doing them uh, through Zoom. But anywho, so if you're interested in these, now Treehouse Knits, which is Rachel's, are beautiful as well. 
But um, the one I'm talking about is Treehouse underscore knits. And if you go to her Instagram, you can then link back to her Etsy shop. This was yesterday's beautiful colorway. This was a 24 mini skein and one full skein um, advent that I purchased from her on pre-order. And um, it is inspired by animals in winter nature. Um, so this, they all come in these pretty little gold bags. Oh, that is beautiful. That's a unique combination. I like that. It's kind of a dusty robin's egg blue and then a chestnutty brown. And then it fades into each other. That's really pretty. I'm loving this. Um, and I do plan whatever pattern I choose to knit them in order. Um, so I'm excited about that. Oh, so pretty. So there's that one. My next one is another yarn advent. Now, this one was a unique spin. This is Forbidden Fiber Company's 2020 White Elephant. Um, and the concept behind this, if you've not been watching my weekly, my daily updates, is that it is an 18 mini skein set, uh, mini skeins of yarn, pardon me, and six little small gifts. I've opened all six small gifts because I'm kind of behind on, on the knitting. Um, and it came with an 18 clue mystery project. Um, I was having an incredibly hard time casting on the, pro the said project. I've kept all the clues. I found a different chart that I wanted to, that I actually already own, and it's The Land of Sweets Cow by Helen Stewart. The unique thing about this is nothing is numbered. So you open it in whatever order, and you can choose to knit it in the order that it's pulled or swap out kind of like a white elephant exchange, gift exchange. So I'm going to reach down in here and grab out this pretty wrapping paper. And I like it because her yarns are named after kind of white elephant gifts. Gifts you might take to a funny little gift exchange. Oh, that's really pretty. I wonder what this one is. Let's us see. Oh, fruitcake. <laughs> so this is fruitcake. So it's kind of an ochre brown. It's got some splashes of kind of red in there fruitcake. So, and it comes with a little card describing. We all know what a fruitcake is, or at least we think we do. It's a holiday punchline, a, mal a maligned icon, the unpalatable loaf on your Aunt Ruth's dessert table. But have you ever actually really tasted one? Note the violently colored green and red fruit and suspect nuts that top the thick dough. Observe the same pseudo fruit scattered within, waiting like landmines. Nope. Definitely better to wrap it back up and re-gift. It still looks just as fresh next year. The worst Christmas gift, this is a quote, the worst Christmas gift is fruitcake. There is only one fruitcake in the entire world and people keep sending it to each other year after year. And that was Johnny Carson that said that. Now I will say, I have to agree that like your store-bought typical fruitcake is disgusting. Okay, some people might really enjoy them, but like I'm talking about one that like you could have it 10 years later and it's not gonna change. I will say though, my, um, my mom's side of the family grew up in Corsicana, Texas. My mom was actually born in Corsicana, Texas. And Corsicana, Texas is known for lots of things, but one of the things that it's known for is the Collins Street Bakery. And the Collins Street Bakery is known around the world for how good their fruitcakes are. They have different fruitcakes, like they have a peach fruitcake and a chocolate fruitcake. And I will say I have been and I have sampled a lot of the fruitcakes and a lot of them are very good. They do have the traditional, but I will say some of their more unique, unique as in they're different, are actually really good. So just food for thought. All right, my last advent to open today. Now next week... I did, I got a 14-day um, mini skein from a lo my local yarn shop, Juju Knits, and it's 14, and I'm doing it as the 12 days of Christmas. Well, since it's 14, I'm actually going to start, I think, on the 23rd, so I'm going to start opening that one on the 23rd. So then I also did the Retreat in a Box, the Nice List from Black Needle Society. The Naughty List was the 25-day version. I got the 20. No, the 12 day version. So, so far we've gotten some beautiful linen, 40 count. We've gotten a chart to stitch on it. We've gotten the fancy floss for said chart. 
and I actually put them all in this really, the really pretty woodland looking bag that they came in. I'm not going to keep them in there, but it's just fun to keep it in there. These will be good for regifting. We got an awesome scarf, um, which is far away from me right now. And then yesterday I got some pretty, uh, Wichelt linen in Venetian stone, which said is said to go with a tiny modernist pattern we have not seen yet. But wait, let's look at day 18. Oh, I want to say this might be more floss. So let's look at day 18 and see if I was right. I am. Oh, okay. So we've got kind of a mix here of some DMC. Ooh, some pretty colors of DMC. And some Weeks Dye Works. So we've got Mom... Morris Blue, Monkey Grass, Banana Popsicle, and Berry Splash. Okay, this is very interesting palette. I am guessing by these colors that this is Tiny, tiny Modernist. That's what I'm guessing. Okay, and if we're going in a trend here, my guess is we'll get the chart tomorrow. That's my thought. But let's scratch off and see if I am correct that this is the floss for Tiny Modernist. And my assistant has brought me the scarf. It actually kind of matches my um, headband. This was the beautiful, really super like nice. It's a lightweight, but it's got some good like warmth to it um, that we got on day 16. So let me scratch off my card. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Oh, let's see if I am right. I am right. It says Weeks Dye Works and DMC all floss called for by Tiny Modernist for their for her design. So hmm, let's see if I am right tomorrow and we get the next goodie. We get the next thing for that, which would be the chart, which I'm really excited because that is a very cool Weeks Dye Works color palette. All right, so that is all the opening of the things. This one goes through the 24th. My Treehouse Knits goes through the 25th. Uh, my white elephant goes through the 24th. And then, like I said, I think on the 23rd, I will begin opening Juju Knits. I believe my last Flossimus will be the 24th. I don't know. We'll see. And then I'll do my full video on the 25th. And then the following week, you can expect at least one Whip Parade video. Just saying. Just saying. It's coming. A Whip Parade, a Whip Parade. All right. So let's talk about what I worked on this week. So I am participating in um, one group um, event from Semi Sane Stitchers. Um, you, if you watch any other floss tubers who talk about Semi Sane, you will have heard that it is a now semi closed group, and what that means is is now they're accepting members. However, you have to basically have a friend who refers you and says, "Yes, they're great. They're going to participate." La 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 la. I would love to be able to recommend each and every one of you. I can't do that though, unless I actually know you like, and we've chatted maybe on um, Instagram or we, you know, we chat in some way. So uh, the event is called Whip Wranglers. So some of, I picked 20 whips. And so some of these that I'm showing are those projects. The other things that I, that are smattered in here had birthdays this week. So I try to work on projects that are celebrating a birthday, a whip birthday um, on its day. And then sometimes after that. So the first one was a whip wrangler piece. This is by tiny, tiny modernist. This is love builds a happy home. This was a Nashville 2020 release. This is stitched on 28 count white Monaco, and I am doing it in the called for DMC. And I put in the second color of the roof and then the green. And I think in my, I think I showed this maybe I can't remember. But anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm really liking this. This is a fun stitch. It's got large blocks of color, which is good in a in a task like Whip Wranglers where you have to get in stitches and you kind of don't want to be doing fiddly color changes. So all right. So then this project had a birthday. This is Souvenirs of the Heart, Home for Christmas, and this is by With Thy Needle and Thread, Brenda Gervais. Um, the model was stitched on 28 count over one over one. I am doing mine on an 18 count in sterling. This is a picture of this plus Ada. And I put in 
all the light green that you see. And then I put in the pink of the windows and the pink of the door. And it is so cute. I cannot wait to color in the house because it's going to be red. And there's some really cute, I love the peppermint border and the cute little bird that sits up here. Um, it's a really sweet stitch. And it doesn't take a long time. It's just I have so many other whips that I find that I don't get as much time. But I loved working on this. That's the other reason I touch everything for their birthday is that I want to see, do I still love it? Um, do I still enjoy every stitch that I put in? And so far, everything I've pulled out for a birthday this year, I've really still loved. Now, as we turn into the next year and we get to some of those whips again, there's some that are questionable. All right, I did this one for Whip Wranglers. This is Plum Street Samplers. It's part of their cereal bowl collection. This is Sampler Lesson 4. And um, I love this one. I am stitching this on 25 count Ash Rose Lugana and I am stitching it one over one. So it's super tiny. So I worked on putting in some more of these details. This is hickory sticks. So I filled in the entire roof. I did this right here, this right here, her hair, and this part of that flower. And I think what I'm gonna do for the grass is I'm going to tent stitch it. I'm fairly certain I'm going to tent stitch it. Um, but the reason why I say I don't know is because I already filled in some right here by her shoes. And I did that full cross. So I don't know. I may do a combination of tent stitch and full cross. Just like some stitchers I've seen have done a mixture of uh, full cross and Smyrna. So we'll see. Um, all right, so this one was also a whip wrangler. This is from Teresa Kogut. It is a digital chart that you can get from her Etsy shop. I believe this is one that through the end of this year, she is donating the proceeds to a um, brick and mortar store to encourage you to buy the chart, but then call the brick and mortar to um, kit it up. So this is She Believes She Could, so she did. And um, I have got this on a mystery fabric from Be Stitch Me. It's a 27 count Linda. And we did go, we, I say we, because this is a piece that a joy filled little one, I'm stitching for her. And we did some color converting. Um, specifically, the dress is more like a black and gray. We changed it to this darker blue, which is color and cotton winter sea. And then um, put in the pink in the flowers instead. And then we changed this to a turquoisey blue. This is Color and Cotton Rain Wash, I believe. Um, so I filled in some more of the dark blue and filled in this first flower plus a little bit over here. Um, I love this. And this is a beautiful piece of fabric too. I mean, it's going to be huge because it's uh, two over two. But I love it anyway. All right, this one had a birthday. This is Hands on Designs, Dear Tear. This is part of their White Christmas series. And I think this is so cute. This is on, I think this is 16 count Nessie from Picture This Plus, I believe. And so I put in a lot of the white, I finished out some of the green up here in this tier. And then I put in the white bow, the three little white luminaries, some of the white detailing here and the white detailing here. Such a fun stitch. I just need to get it finished. But I have a lot of projects that I'm like, I just need to get it finished. All right, this one had a birthday this week. And I actually also used it for Whip Wranglers because Whip Wranglers loves to throw in Scrooge cards. And Scrooge cards expect you to just drop everything and stitch, I think it's 100 stitches. And so this was what I was working on. And I think it doesn't have to be off your whip list. I might have messed that up. I'm not sure. This is Little Room in the Attic. And this is called Mouse King and Queen. And I love it. It is on a Garibaldi's Needlework Even Weave in Lapis. It's a 28 count Even weed Weave in Lapis. And so I put in the light blues. There's two light blues. I put in her skirt down here. And then up in this cute little wonky house that sits on this snow-covered hill. So this one is one that has a lot of half stitch. Um, it has a lot of back stitch. It like has a whole chart just for the back stitch. Has a lot of um, metallics. It has a lot of French knots, but I'm going to replace those with beads. So yeah, 
This was one that I did pulled for Whip Wranglers. This is Ink Circles Shoe Riken. This was the Patreon exclusive from July 2020. And what's cool is she actually released this in this format, but also in just a large pattern keeper friendly one, which is neat because then you can actually go in and choose different colors. This is on an 18 count hand dyed by Stephanie and Slate. And I put in more of the black outlining. This is just DMC 310. All right, this one had a birthday. This is Madame Chantilly Celebrate Christmas. And I love the tiered tray. I actually had started this last year. Didn't love the fabric it was on. So I did a restart. And I love it on the new fabric. And I'm so happy I restarted it. Because I love it so much more. So this is on a 32 count. Seraphim fabric. It's a even weave a Lugana. And it's in the color May Day. And so I actually just put in some of the tray detailings. The shelf and then the middle pole of this, of this layer of the tear tray. This is deceptive because you look at this and go, mm, it's not that big. It's a little piece. No, it's huge. It's rather large because this is a 32 count, which is not a large count of fat. I mean, it's not, shouldn't be that big, but it is. And that's okay. It's fun to stitch. And I love that the cup says joy. Yep. All right. And the last thing I have to show you that I stitched on, this one was for Whip Wranglers. This is Bent Creek's Nativity Row. And this is on 18 count from Color and Cotton in the color Colonnade. So I got some more of the letters put in. I got the roof of the nativity. Now here is my dilemma. I don't know what happened when I started this because I started right here in the middle where Joseph is. These, I don't know what I was thinking. These are supposed to be this light gray simple. I stitched them in the teal. I have no idea why. Like literally no idea why. So I think I'm going to have to go back and rip them out and put them in the gray. I don't know. Because it's going to look funny. Because I typically, if I change colors on, on letters, I'll change it so it's my initials. And then that's my signature. Um, and my initials go in order. They're ACV. Um, but I wouldn't change an L and an M right next to each other. So I think I'm going to have to rip those out. Oh, well. That's okay. No big worries. So I may keep that out and go ahead and tackle that and just so that when I put it away, it's ready to come out and not have to be frogged first, first, first thing. Um, so plans. I am continuing on with whip, whip, blah, 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 whip wranglers. I think I have four more whips that need to be called, one of which I have slotted to work on today, and that's Positivity Rules, which was a sow from early fall, late summer from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Um, it's been fully released and everything, and I just need to put some more time into it. So I will continue to work on that. I feel certain that at this point with so few left to spit, to roll, I'm going to end up do, having to do some duplicate stitching, which is fine. I have till the end of the month. So I have that. Um, I don't have another project with a birthday until the 23rd. And then I have like two on the 24th and one on the 25th. I know that I have one Christmas Day start, and that is um, Christmas Tree of Magic that I showed in last week's video. It's a kit from Nitka Moscow that I am working on. It was either last week or the week before. Um, I am selling that with Aaron Two Martini Stitcher. And then I think I'm going to have a Christmas Eve start, and it is coming. The chart, the fabric, and the floss is coming from One Two Three Stitch, and it's st and it's shipped today. So if it gets here, I will start it on the 24th. Um, I'm excited about it, but I don't want to share it in case it doesn't happen. Um, but I'm excited. It's a fancy lady of sorts. And then I am still trying to figure out what my new year, new start will be. I had an idea what I wanted it to be, but I, had, I custom ordered the fabric from Brandy at B Stitch Me. And I just don't know with how busy she's been, rightly so, like that it'll be here in time. Um... And actually, the chart is coming from her and the beads. So that may not be. The beads are not necessary, but the chart is necessary. So that might not be happening. We'll see. I'm not sure what that's going to look like. Plan-wise, also, I need to finish uh, solidifying my WIBGO board for next year. And I would also like to go ahead and start getting my planner kind of ready for next year as well. Um, 
I did purchase from uh, Jen Lee. She is Quirks and Stitches on YouTube. She is Jen Lee, I believe, over on um, Instagram. She might be Quirks and Stitches over there too. And her Etsy shop is Quirks and Stitches. She is the mastermind behind 24 Hours Cross Stitch. And last year, she put out a planner. And it's fa it was fantastic. This year, she put out another one, and it's even better. It's so good. There's so many, e there's extra add-on packs. I bought the digital planner. So I have uploaded it to my iPad. It runs out of a program, like an annotating program. I use Good Notes. And I've already, I think, filled in my whip list. Um, I use an Apple Pencil anyway, so I didn't have to get new technology, new stylus, anything like that. I think I filled in my entire whip list. I put in some of my tentative pro projects for the coming year. I'm sorry. I have a person sitting, a small person, who thinks it's okay to try to hook her candy cane around my tripod. Problem with that is it backfired and she bumped it. And now she's laying moping. So anyway, I have, I have plans upon plans, but I don't know. I would love to work maybe. I need to get my Christmas quilt binding done. And I would like to be able to say I could have my quilt by Christmas Eve. Which means I would hopefully able to be able to show you a full finish, like washed all of that next week. And then if it's finished, I would feel like I could start a new quilt project. Yeah, I think that's what I need to go for. So we are to the portion of this, and this basket is heavy today. It is heavy. It was a very full week of hallelujah. So it's joy-filled stashy stash time. It's joy-filled stashy stash time. Let's show you what I got. And these are the things that didn't get put under my tree. All right, so the first thing actually just arrived today and that is a small order from Fire Poppies. I was looking, I needed a few more. I have a Heaven and Earth design, it's a small. Um, it is Quick Stitch Hazel's Library. It's a cute little giraffe with a book and a coffee mug and or hot cocoa mug. And I was short a few DMCs, like I don't have any. I don't need much for any of the skeins, but these are ones I did not have for some odd reason. So I. Um, 123 Stitch was out of a lot of them. So I went to the next best, or actually probably better than best, because their shipping is like rocket fast, and that's Fire Poppies. So I got some DMC. And then um, I also, I namely, I think, went over there first because I purchased the chart and the fabric for this piece that I want to start for Christmas Eve. Um, and it calls for beads, and they were out of all the beads. Well, Fire Poppies, Fire Poppies had them. So as you can see, it's got some different Mill Hill um, glass beads, all of a Christmassy stop type. We've got some golds, some champagne golds, dark green, and a burgundy kind of red. So got those, got the DMC, and then I had been seeing this chart, thought it was adorable, and added it to my cart. And that is Heart and Hands, Oh By Gosh. And I think this is adorable. I love it. And it doesn't look like it calls for very much. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, like seven colors. And I think most of them I have. They're classic color works. So I think that that's, that's adorable. But like, all this white I think is Snowball. But you could absolutely just sub in DMC. Now, for some of this that looks more variegated, I would for sure do the variegated. C. Shelley. I don't have C. Shelley. But anyway, this is a not a start anytime soon. But anyway, so that was from Fire Poppies. And I actually remembered what that was, what that was for. All right, so then I placed a one-off order with Stitchy Box because they had some exclusive threads that I thought were beautiful. Um, it was from their Halloween box and, um, she posted these once she had, they'd been revealed like, so past day 15, some of the first few days. So one of them is this floss from Keller and Cotton called Nightlands. I think it's beautiful. 
Um, I think it'll make a really pretty monochrome stitch. I got four skeins, so it'll have to be a small monochrome stitch. And while I was in there, they have some exclusive colorways. So this is a Stitchy Box exclusive Gentle Arts. This is called Sampler Heart, and it's a really pretty brown. Um, I grabbed up this flower silk that was also from their Countdown to Halloween. And this is, I got two skeins in Pumpkin Pixie. I think that's really super cute. And that's their flower silk. It's their brand. And then they have some um, dinky dyes that will get released to their shop first. Um, I got Autumn Days, which I think is beautiful. Harvest, also beautiful. And this one, I need to find something for it. It's called Honey Crisp. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. And I think that these then become part of Dinky Dice lines. I think I need to like have a subscription to Dinky Dice because they're good. They've got a lot of t good tonals, but then they've got like the fun, funky ones too. All right, more floss. I got my uh, nest egg. This is November's. I get this from uh, Trisha at 3 Al Threads. Um, this was my last month that I had classic color works. I decided to take a break going into the new year. Um, so we've got Finley Gold and Fresh Brew. Dandelion Stem and Bramble Bush, both beautiful. We've got Eggshell and Cottage Garden. Deep Blue Sea, which is a great color, and Creamy Peach. And then we've got Clay Pot and Golden Star. And this Golden Star is so pretty. Um, so those were my color and cotton. And then my Gentle Art, I get the upgraded 10 yard skeins. It's not much more. Um, and so this, we've got some fill-ins, but then we've also got some where we are. So we've got Cinders, which is like one of my most faves. It's so pretty. So pretty. Kind of matches my shirt. Um, then we've got Honeydew. Nutmeg. I have this in several projects right now. Um, Mountain Mist. I love Mountain Mist. Ohio Lemon Pie and Old Brick. Both great colors. We've got Dark Chocolate, another good one. Um, old Blue Paint. I have that in a project right now, I think, that I just cut it up. Oatmeal and Acorn. So a good selection. As you can see, we're kind of all over. I think we're actually in M's and O's. But I don't know. Couldn't tell you for sure. All right, so next up, Jennifer Upton. Jen Upton. You will know her from Floss Tube. She's awesome. She makes beautiful, beautiful fobs. And she has a group on Facebook called Absolutely fob Ulyss. And I went over and checked it out because I have a fob on my really nice pair of little Ginger Snips, but it's, it's autumn themed. I needed a Christmas themed one. Well, I couldn't just buy one. So I bought this one and it's, uh, she does a lot with vintage and pretty buttons. So this one is red, green, white and kind of frosted like mother of pearlish kind of buttons with jingle bells so this is like i think her normal size and then she's come out with a petite size so this is the first petite that i got look at how cute this little white and gold deer is can you show the camera yourself please get out of the way button there you go and then it's got some pretty little like bell shaped buttons. Oh, it's just so fun. And then I had to have this one and I literally said must have. And she goes naturally because the charm says joy. And so it's uh, reds and clears like frosted clear buttons and some little um, hangy crystally ones. I don't know the official. So these are the petite size. So I got two petites and one regular that jingles. But I think these would also make really cute bag tags too. So um, I have lots of little snips and scissors all over my house that need those on them. Just saying. All right, next up, I'm super excited about this. Um, so I partnered with Caterpillar Cross Stitch for Hello Dear, and that was released in five parts. They've all been released. I think my code might still be active. I'm not 100% sure. 
I'd encourage you if you're still wanting to buy the PDF, there might even be full kits to try Joy 10 to get 10% off. But what I want to share with you today is the newest one that is coming. To, it's coming starting at the towards the end of January. And it is called Made to Create. So Sally asked me to partner with her again. And I said, absolutely, because I have loved every single thing that I have either chosen to buy and stitch or been given by Sally. Super awesome. Shipped quickly from um, the UK. I will say it got stuck in a hub somewhere, somewhere. It is what it is. It's not a big deal. Um, so as you can see, it is a mystery stitch. So we do not know other than what the fabric's going to look like. There are three fabric options. I chose a 16 count Ada in this really pretty neutral color. Look at that color palette. So it has 12 colors of DMC floss. It's already pre-carded. They're cut to length. So it's super easy to use, super user friendly. That, this is gonna be so much fun. You've got Carlos the Caterpillar on your floss card. Um, it does come with the um, color code and key. And I love that. It has the DMC number, the color with the symbol, and what number it is on the card. Now, typically, I go through, and with um, a fine tip Sharpie, I draw as best I can the symbols. So, let me show you the other best part. Now, the full kit comes like this, and then you're sent the um, parts of the chart by email. Excuse me. <clears throat> this is the full kit. The full kit plus includes the needle minder. They have some of the best, highest quality needle minders. Look at how cute that is. It says made to create. It's got gold enamel on it. And it's a floss bobbin with rainbow floss and a little heart at the top. That is so cute. Super strong magnet. Um, and then mine comes in this, and I think they do too, a cute little Carlos the Caterpillar pouch. You could use this later on for other little notions and things. Um, so I do have a code for this one as well. My code did change. It's not joy 10 for this one. It is joy, joy filled 10, not joyful. Some people have been confusing me with joyful stitching. I am joy filled stitcher, but my code is J O Y F I L L E D 10. And it is good for 10% off either the PDF only or the full kit. So go check out the website. I will link that below. I don't link very much anymore, um, but that will be down there for sure um, because I want y'all to go get this and stitch along with us. All right. What else? Um, so I was watching Fame and Steph Just Keep Stitching, and they showed a super adorable project bag by Little Boat 88. No, Brass Button. Brass Button. They do like Little Boat 88 too. Brass Button and adorable. I ran immediately, paused, ran over to look and see if they still had the fabric, like that bag. They didn't. Etsy, Power of Search Engine, is Little Red Riding Hood fabric. I found it through a great shop. It's actually lo like fairly local to me here in Texas, and so I ordered half yards of some fabric. So I got this one, which is the cute little blue background, Little Red Riding Hood, and this is from the same line. It's a coordinating, but it's got X's, so it looks kind of like cross stitch. And then I also got this little red riding hood because I thought it could be cute for something as well, like a notions pouch or maybe in part of a quilt. I don't know. We'll see. And then while I was there, I saw this fabric and knew I must have it because I just must. Can you see what it is? Why, yes, that would be Mary Poppins. And so I had to get that. I love it. And I know that I have some turquoises and pinks and things that could maybe be a coordinating for this. So there might be some project bags, project pouches, project something in my future. I'm going to ask that you not kick my tripod while you're swirling your legs around on the floor. Please and thank you. All right. So there have been questions, queries in my comments about if I have received my hoops from Joann's. They took a long time to ship. And that, I think, had a lot to do with the fact that it was, like, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, like, weekend. So I totally get it. It wasn't like I was desperate for some more embroidery hoops. But I did want to get them because, one, if they were the Nurge or Nurge 
hoops. I wanted to share it with you and I did want some more for myself because they are my new favorite, 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 favorite. So Kia B had told me um, that at her Joann's, they sold Nurge hoops for between three and six dollars in all the sizes under the name Top Notch. Top Notch. So mine did not have them. I went to the Joann's around... Black Friday-ish because I was looking for ribbon and I thought, okay, I will look and see if they have any. And she had even said they're not with the embroidery stuff. They're like on an end cap in the fabric area all by themselves. My store does not typically carry all the things. Um, it's kind of a little bit on the smaller side. It has a really decent fabric section and notion section and it's got a lot of yarn, but it's not great. Um, and so... I took a chance and went on the Joann's website and saw premium hoops. And I noticed that, see how this kind of curves up like a ramp? That's what the Nurge hoops do. And so I was like, it didn't say Nurge. It didn't say top notch. It just said premium wood embroidery hoop. And they're $4.99 no matter which size you buy. So I took a chance for $4.99 plus I used a coupon. I think I had like a 30% off my entire purchase. And I got a five inch, six inch, seven inch, another seven inch, because those are my, that's my favorite, or one of my favorites, an eight inch and a 10 inch. So I got quite a few hoops, $4.99 a piece. They are all Nurge hoops. This is a Nurge number two, which is the five inch. Nurge number three, that was the six inch. Nurge number four, that is the seven inch. Number five, number five is the eight inch. Yep. And the number 10 is, the, is their number six hoop. So I got these. Um, one of the things over the holidays is I will be taking them and wrapping them in the single fold bias tape. Hey, can you go grab me one of those packages of the little white tape that I use for these? I've had quite a number of questions about what I wrap my hoops in. So I'm having my assistant, my lovely assistant, who wants me to hold her candy cane. We're going to hold. Hey, you went too far. They're right over here. See in the back of the white thing, the white organizer? towards the back, one of those long skinny packages that has the white tape in it? Yes. Thank you. Okay, so some people asked what I wrapped mine in. This is what I got. I also got this at Joann's. This is single fold bias tape. It is the um, 0.5 inch wide. So this is just got one, it, does, it has one, let me see if I can show you. It has a raw edge. So double fold does not have a raw edge. This does have a raw edge. Excuse me. It does have two raw edges, but they're inside. So a double fold is folded in on itself and doesn't have any, also doesn't have any raw edges exposed, but it's thicker. Um, and I just bought the white and so far I really liked it. The bias tape is nice because it'll, it doesn't get lumps and bumps because it's meant to go around a curve if need be. So I got this and when I bought them, they were buy one, get three free. So if you can wait for a deal, that's awesome. If not, they're not terribly expensive. I also have been able to get these for curbside pickup and have them shipped to my house if you're not real happy about going out, which I'm not. Not after seeing some people acting the fool. Okay, so I got a couple of orders from 123 Stitch. So I'll go through this rather quickly. Um, the first things I got... Uh, this was in my wish list and it was on sale. This is Little House Needleworks Born in a Manger. I got, this came back in stock, so I ran over to grab some. This is 25 count Easy Grid uh, Lugana. And this is a fat quarter. I don't need this much for my um, Heaven and Earth design. I don't need anything close to it. And then I got a ton of DMC because I'm doing a conversion on a Mirabilia. And I didn't know exactly which colors I wanted. So I grabbed a lot. And that is okay. So I got those things. Um, and this might have been another order. I'm not sure. Um, but I grabbed this chart. It was on really good sale around Christmas time. 
This is Lizzie Kate's Birdie Holiday, and I love the little birdhouses. No place like home for the holidays. I did one like this for my mom way back in high school, and it was um, little hats, all different Christmas hats. Now, I might change up the colors a little bit. It's a little too primary for me, but I did get that. I also got um, the Wee One Quilting Bird from Heart and Hand and Lizzie Kate's For We Walk by Faith, Not by Sight. I love that one. Um, these two were in my wish list, I think, and a really good price. And what drew me back to the site for this is this came back in stock. This is the drawn thread. I do not currently have anything by the drawn thread, but I had to have this. Can you see why? It's called the Joys of Christmas. These are all joy charts. And I will stitch all of them because I love them all. I love how different they all are. They're so unique. So, and what's nice is they give you all the dimensions and stuff on the back as well as the call for materials. So I won't kit up all of these at the same time. Um, so yeah, I think what I'm going to do, I have this idea, is since my floss tube anniversary is in May and it's on May 19th, is that I will start, since this will be my second year, second floss tube anniversary, I might start two or I might just start one and then I'll add one each year or as I finish one I'll start another one and then I was in the fabric section and this was on sale and it is so cute this is a Riley Blake fabric I got a half yard and if you did not know this they have some cute quilter fabric on one two three stitch look at how cute it is I don't have it what this is called but look at how cute the little elves are doing all the North pole things so I got a half yard of that on a really good price um, so yeah. Here we go. We got some more. All right. So then I, um, had ordered this fabric from Color and Cotton a while back, but it's taken them a long time because it wasn't in their batch list. And, um, it just came in. It's a 16 count in Poison Apple. I had ordered this to do Ghosties and Gourds on. Well, I've already started that on a different fabric altogether. So I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> with this, but it's good to have in stash for a 16 count. And then I got my color, my fabric of the month and a beautiful little card, a happy holiday card. And this is so good. So I get a 20 count Ada and I get a fat quarter and this is in the colorway Bellini. I get the neutral and it's so pretty. It looks like a peach Bellini drink. So pretty. Okay, so next up, okay, next up, I placed an order with Fat Quarter Shop when they had, um, they had some kind of Cyber Monday where they had double the amount of flash sale items, and so a couple of flash sale, sale items were really good, and so I went ahead and grabbed them. The first one I got is this um, Cute Cuts little ruler and this is by Riley Blake and what's neat about it is is that back here on the back like the back side this is a little rough a little textured so it maybe is a little grippy and I like that you've got your seam allowances marked with highlighted so I got that they sent me some hand sanitizer um one of the other daily deals I actually have some quilting glo quilting gloves but mine are gross um, so these were on like for two bucks. So I got some quilting gloves. And then the other thing that was also on flash sale was this huge, super cute quilt book. Um, and it's got like six quilt patterns. I think it was $2. Um, it's spiral bound. It's really nice. It has some super cute. I might do a flip through of this. Um, it is a, um, is that Ella Lutz? Elia, Elia Lutz book. Um, I might do a flip through on another day. We're running a little long on this video. Um, they had some of their quilting charts on sale. And so I got this one Corey Yoder's rainbow, which I think is really cute. And this is another one called candy stripes. I think both of these were available as a digital download, but I tend to like these to be typical, like normal charts. Um, I saw this fabric panel and thought it was super cute. Um, and what's neat about it is, is you literally take this and you can piece it together with other types of blocks. 
and then you've got a quilt. So this one has Hello Sunshine, this nine patch, and it's got this one that says keep your face always toward the sunshine and shadows will fall behind you. We've got Pretty Star. I'm sorry, just a moment. I'm gonna ask you to stop, please. Sunny Days. There is sunshine in my soul today, the little houses, and then the cute little diamonds. I feel like I'm the movie with the snacking going on over there and the crinkle crinkle that I know that those of you that wear earbuds do not enjoy. And I haven't given you a crinkle crinkle warning, so I apologize, folks. This is the only drawback to her being here on a Friday is I'm not gonna wait to film my video. And as much as I love, love having her around, she doesn't get it. And we're already over an hour. All right, told you, got a lot of stash. All right, so then I also got Quilter's Cottage and I'm going to do it without the alphabet or do something different in the alphabet area. And I went ahead and got the DMC thread pack. Um, I'm not sure that I will stitch this with the DMC. I don't know. We'll see. But it was on a good price because I think the flosses were on a good price. And then I have a couple of the Stitching with the Housewife small charts that I want to do. So I got the, one of their new little canvas zip project bags. So that was also on sale. Um, last things, folks. Last things. So... Joanna, Stitching the High Notes, had a shop update with her winter-themed bags. I grabbed a beautiful poinsettia progress keeper. I love her progress keepers. And I grabbed one of her needlework bags this time. I mean, this could work for a um, stitching, uh, stitching project or a knitting project. And I could not resist these cute little woodland animals. The owl is knitting. So cute. And I love that she's got the two zips so you can like put your pattern or notions in here. And then she uses the uh, like metallic Essex linen. Beautiful. It's got her, um, she stamps her fabric on the inside. And then it's got, this is her needlework bag, like I said. I have one of, one or two. No, I have one of her drawstring um, bags. And it's not where I can get to it. So anyway, super pretty. Love it, love it. We're getting to the end. All right, and then I had, I placed a Black Friday order with the Black Needle Society because they had, it was like a, it was some steal of a deal. And then they had one Black Friday exclusive one. And so this was their Black Friday exclusive. It was a full size. Um, so it's the larger size. And this was called Lego My Coco. So, and this was only available in this size. I thought it was super cute. Um, it's got cute fun coffee cups or cocoa cups on the inside. So I got this one. I had been eyeing this one for a while. I think this one is called Floral Bands. I don't know what of this is maybe still available. It's got a pretty funky pattern inside. Just a nice, I use these to hold projects just in case you didn't know. Um, the Prancing Unicorn Sleeve. I love this one. And then the inside has a fun print. Um, so that's going to come to great use. And then I loved this one and this is called Rejoice and it has beautiful typography. Rejoice, hallelujah, sing, Merry Christmas, angels believe. So pretty. And the inside has this other kind of gold foiled print. So I got those four. They were on a great price. It's not my last order that's coming. Just being honest. Because I love me some sleeves. I love how they stand up so nicely on my shelf. Um, and look so presentable. So, last things last would be my Angel Kindness card. So, these I get. I got this beautiful box of 52 Angel Kindness cards from Teresa Kogut. And I share one each week. And I loved this one this week. It says, plant the seeds of hope, nurture them, and watch them grow. I love that. Um, I love seeing each of each week which artwork just speaks to me and what the sentiment is behind it. I love how she's looking at the bird and like almost sharing sharing a you know like a, a hopeful moment and she has the tree on her dress. It's just so good. Um, and so I hope that you have a fantastic week ahead. I hope that you get some stitchy time in um, that you're doing well and um, 
if you happen to be uh, getting ready to celebrate Christmas or another holiday, that you're going to be safe in your in what you choose to do, and that you're going to feel confident that um, you're making the right choices because nobody can make those but you. So with that, I will wish you a wonderful week ahead. I will see you next Friday. Actually, I'll see you tomorrow for my little Flossmas short video, but I'll see you uh, for sure next Friday. And with all that said, I will say. So long, Stitch Well. I'll see you soon, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, and I'll see you tomorrow.